guys. Literally got We're back this home. morning. We got back this morning. Actually, not even this morning, like noon today. We took a red eye last night. We spent our last few days in Anchorage just really hanging out at home. The last day Vlogmas was finally posted. It is Vlogmas Day 25 was our Christmas Eve and Christmas. So we hung out in Anchorage for a few more days and then hopped on a flight home last night, took the red eye, took a nap when we landed today. Mm -hmm. And now we just showered, got ready, and it's New Year's Eve. So we're gonna go have a little dinner together. Can you tell them where we're going? We're going to Uchiko, a little sushi New Year's Eve dinner. We didn't want to like go out and be crazy just because I didn't want to like do all the Ubers. Yeah. And everything. We didn't go to Fredericksburg because we got back to Austin so late. So, mm -hmm. anyways, we're just here. We thought we would go to a nice little dinner, but Dame is opening up. Yeah, we're going to do a little. A little small glass of champagne before we leave. Champagne toast, end of 2023. Crazy. Yeah. Do you remember that we got engaged this year? seems so far away. It does. Like a I was trying to year. remember my year and I was like, oh shit. That really happened this year. I know. Isn't that crazy? That is wild to think about. Crazy year. I love using these. We never get the chance to. I know. They're so cute. So cute. Okay. Popping bottles. <laughs> Had this thing for a while. What do we get this mini one from? We got that for... Oh, Jenny. Cheerio. Oh yeah. Look at that. Love a little goof. You're so mean. Just kidding. Uh, Dave didn't sleep on the plane, but I did. So. I didn't sleep. The first plane we took, it was like six and a half hours to Chicago from Anchorage. And then like, I think it was like two hours from Anchorage to, or from Chicago. Three, three hours from Anchorage to. Austin, I didn't sleep. On the smallest plane ever. Didn't sleep any of it. It was like the two and two seater. And it started getting really hot at one point. And I'm like, okay, like the engine is on fire. Um, we're going down. Yeah, Tay started I freaking started out. Tripping like, you started out. freaking out a little bit. Also, just the hot made me like, I'm pretty claustrophobic. And the hot started making me like, well, it was weird I because so much rather. It was weird time. because it happened like immediately. Like, and I turned around and like looked towards the back of the plane, every single person like reached up to turn their air on. Yeah. So I was like, this is not good. But anyways, I went up to the front and was like, <laughs> I, was I, like I knew she wouldn't like, go ask. she would not let me not ask. So I knew I had to go up and I asked by attendant. They're like, yeah, we noticed that too. We just had to like turn the temperature down. I but, honestly want to look at my aura ring and see if our, my heart rate was like going crazy. Because actually I did look at my aura ring for the first flight. When we landed, my heart rate spiked and it was like a stress. Yeah. Yeah. Stress time. Okay. Our reservation is literally in 15 minutes, so we got to... We have a 10 to team reservation. Cheers these and get moving. Cheerio. Cheers to... End of 2023. We'll do another cheers at New Year's. Okay. Year's. Alright, before we rush out, I wanted to show Taze Fit because she looks very gorgeous tonight. Thank you. And it's a simple fit. Which I like. Well, I was like, I have two minutes. Actually, this took the least amount of time. I think my makeup took the longest. Yeah. I'm wearing that vintage skirt from Shop Vintage Cowgirl. I need to put lotion Fire. on my legs. Um, I'm wearing this, what is this? Zara. Couldn't tell you. Just like the strapless little zip up top from Zara. Cute. Black Tacovas. And then I put on my little silver heart earrings. I like the silver. From Amazon. I've been wearing the silver a lot lately. Throw the blazer over. And then probably just wear my back. Nice. Blazer. Cute, babe. Glass of champagne. That's Lovely. I got on um, this new sweater that I got for Christmas. It's the All Saints, what's it called again? Emot. The All Saints Emot? Yeah. Um, but these are my favorite ones that All Saints makes. So I have a black one I wear it all the time, but I got a brown one for Christmas. So. Cutie. Lovely. And then just some black elbow pants. Um, I think these are like the golf pants. They're not my favorite, honestly, but. They're really cute style and he actually wears them a lot, but they, they pilled. Yeah, so. Kind of easy, so we, that's the only like thing. Dark places tonight from what we go to tell. And, and then, I will say, they're not very expensive, so it's not like, no, you know, he I'm spent a million dollars on them. But then I have on my All Saints necklace, as always, All Saints string, and then this new one that Larson got me, Tay's little sister. Cutie. It's very cool. I love it. What's the brand again? Um, I can't remember. Something locks. I'll have to figure it out and tell you guys later. We'll link it for you guys. Yeah. Cute. But, well, one thing I will say about the sweater, though, is they run really small. Tiny. This is a double X. Right. 
So just FYI, if you're ever ordering any All Saints. I feel like girls' All Saints is that way too. But shall we? Yeah, we gotta go. Let's do it. Made it. Lock it in. We're only four minutes late. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. We actually live decently close. We do. This is Uchiko. Uchiko. It's kind of in a random spot. It's really close it to the triangle. It's like connected to a couple other buildings. Yeah. But we're gonna go check in for our rest. They're moving a little slow tonight, so. It's popping in there. Pop in, but we're just gonna hang out in the car until. Yeah. Our table's ready. They have like a kind of a small waiting area, so we didn't really wanna. Yeah, and it's kind of cool outside. outside and. And the heaters, I don't know where the heaters they're talking about. They have one. Oh, in the back area? No, they have one right there. Are the, people sitting at the patio? When you walk in. Probably. Really? It's like 70 degrees here today, but it gets like uh, 30 degrees at night, so. A little chiller. Did you say inside on our res? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's why we didn't do the downtown one. Got it. There is a new, there's Uchi, Uchiko, and Uchiba is the new one downtown. Um, that I really want to try, but they only had patio tables available tonight, so we're at a our good staple. Uchiko is probably my favorite one, right? I liked Uchi, and it wasn't like obsessed with it though. Uh, Uchiko's okay, so this is how I like to put it Uchiko is more of like a it's a lot fancier mm -hmm. and a lot nicer, it's a lot more, it's like a lot more vibey, it's more modern, yeah, modern and, like, is a good way. Trendier, maybe a little younger. Yeah. I think Uchi is like traditional. Correct. Yeah. That's but what it's like say. really good. Like, feels it's like really good. It's good quality. It's very cozy and very intimate still. Like, this is like you go for where you take a group of friends, you guys want to go on a family yeah. dinner, birthday dinner, blah, blah, blah. Like, Uchi is like you can take the family there and like have a great time. Yeah. We've been to Uchi go for two birthday dinners and they were both really fun. And it's just good service. But food is like both are phenomenal. So, thank you. Gonna try it? Yeah. So we get the chenin blanc. Ew. We got it here before, but we always like it. So. Okay. I don't remember if I like it or not, so we'll see. Um, <laughs> White was the way to go. Okay. One of our favorite things here is the grilled shishito pepper. Ooh, yeah. We got a P38 roll. It has Dale's tail in it. I don't know, we get it every time, but. I don't even know what's in it. Pretty simple. Given Toro. Is this soy? What is this? I think so. And Our, then we also got a yellow tail sashimi. Dish. Yellow tail sashimi, yeah. That looks good. Ponzu, orange. So good. <laughs> It looks good. Wow, you're gonna like that. Okay, so we are 15 minutes out from midnight. 15? Yeah. But they gave us some complimentary champagne. They're handing it out to all the guests. So. Mm. It's like fish beef. I quite like it. I remember this one from last time. Box shop because if you remember here you get a free drink and you did it now and you live in Austin you get a free drink once a month uh, and we don't miss and we never miss yeah so we got they ch changed a little bit though you have to at least buy something that's three dollars yeah which is fine because you always get like we got tacos breakfast or a snack and I got Amiga's taco this morning what kind did you get carnitas taco mm -hmm. but anyways we're back in Austin trying to get back on our routine I've had kind of a tough week I've been kind yeah. of sick this He's week. Been sick, handicapped. 
Yeah, I have like a basically bum finger right now. Yeah. I slammed it into the door, so it's like extremely bruised. Yeah. But uh, we're getting through it today. It actually feels like I can't like use it, but like the throbbing isn't as intense as it was the first couple of days. That's good. Not yeah. as much pressure. Right. Okay. So. Well, we were planning to vlog last weekend, I think, or maybe Monday. We're planning to vlog the day after New Year's and have kind of like a reset day, but I got pretty sick. It all just took a turn. Yeah, <laughs> I got pretty sick. My hand got jammed and it just kind of... I think everybody knows the first week back after the holiday, first week back into the New Year, got a lot of high hopes, but it really is just kind of a struggle getting back into the swing of things. So it was a week, let me tell you. This is good. Okay. Is it good? Yeah. But we made it. And so now I think we'll probably do some of our like New Year's Eve resetting stuff this weekend. Yeah. Um, I know for sure I'm going to do some goals and reflecting. I'll probably do some vision boarding um, and at least just like take some time to write some stuff down and relax. So. Take the cap off. I don't want you to be sick. Okay. What is this gingerbread? So I got a gingerbread latte with vanilla cold foam on top. It's really good. Oh my god. <laughs> Milkshake oh my. Sorry, Almond milk latte with an extra shot. Back in Austin where they don't believe in coconut milk, so. But anyways, we're going to sit here, eat some breakfast, drink our coffee, and we'll probably head home soon. Uh, I think the plan for the rest of the day, I definitely have like a lot of laundry to do, a lot of house stuff. We gotta take down our Christmas decor. Uh, really just kind of pick up a little bit around the house. I still can't really do much outside of that because I'm kind of bummed because I really want to exercise and stuff. We do have 45. I literally I haven't know, been able to go. I know, we wanted to go golfing today so bad. I go, I'll go with you and hang, but yeah, really? I can't even hold the golf club. Maybe I could like hit a bucket or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'd absolutely go. Okay. Fun. If I'm gonna go to hang on a golf course, that's like the best one to go to. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, yeah. There, that's the update for the morning. Happy New Year. From Foxtrot, and we actually got two little things. Dame got me a wellness shot, as you guys know. Just what he does. And then we also got the Koala Eco counter spray. I have been doing my research on some just better for you, I think, cleaning supplies. And Branch Basics and Koala Eco were two that have been really popular. I keep seeing on my feet. So I was going to order the big set of Koala Eco like starter pack I guess but I never really did it so we saw this when we were at Foxtrot today I figured we would try it see if we like the scents how it works things like that we've been dying for a needle counter spray because I bought this last time I was at Sprouts I think the seventh generation and I cannot stand it like this needs to go in the trash um I think I just don't like the way it smells but anyway we'll see how we like that but I'm gonna make us some avocado toast Maybe it was an egg on top because I had sourdough at Trader Joe's yesterday. And so I figured that would make a really solid avocado. Did you see that Alaska Airlines thing? No. How about the plane? No. The uh, emergency exit door ripped off while they today. Lars is on a plane today. It was it. It's not her. Sorry. How do you know? Because it's a, it was a Portland flight. How do you know she don't fly through Portland? What the fuck? Headed from where? PDX to Ontario? Yeah. Had a bunch of people's phones got sucked out because of the... Oh, yeah. Oh, you put lemon on there? Mm -hmm. yeah, Texas uh, basketball. Texas is playing Texas Tech. Yeah. I don't know if Dame told you, but he smashed his finger in the door. We said that earlier. You said what happened? Yeah, I think. But I haven't showed you how it looks like. Probably won't. You don't want to see it. Looking for my armor up. There we go. After breakfast, I went and uploaded our Christmas <coughs> vlog, which I'm so excited about. That is finally up. Um, Christmas 2023, which was Vlogmas Day 25. But 
after that i got we got some news about a potential wedding venue that we were considering for either reception or rehearsal dinner anyways it's not available so i just started like a quick search for other venues and that turned into like hours and hours of wedding research and that just seems to be how it goes every time i start getting into anything wedding i just get sucked in and it takes like hours and hours out of my day so that ended up being a lot of my afternoon so i was <sighs> sitting in the office at my computer doing that but i finally got up and i took a shower and put on some comfies and now i'm about to have my armor colostrum because i didn't really take any of my supplements this morning and i have just been feeling like i need them so i'm gonna take those right now i don't know what i'm gonna take them with i think we're doing dry january we kind of decided on a whim and we're doing dry january right yeah yeah why not that we are why not what are you making i don't know i was trying to figure out something i could put my armor and colostrum in shower those betty buzzes we have tart cherry juice this would be really good with like a sparkling water but my whole point of saying we're doing dry january is that i've been trying to find fun little cocktails drinks for us to have mocktails Cocktails. We got these Betty Buzz things. It's time to take out Christmas. It's just carbonated water, agave syrup, lime juice, lemon juice, natural flavors, and sea salt. And they're really cute. Sparkling lemon lime. This could be good with my cherry juice, tart cherry juice over ice. I don't know. I'm just going to get my journal out and do some of that stuff I was talking about earlier. Do a little reflecting on the year. I also, I know it's like really late, but I really want to get my recap up of the year on Instagram stories. I did a recap of 2022, I think, on my stories, and I love looking back on it. I'm like one of the weirdos that can look back on her own Instagram stories all the time. Just because I think it's so fun to look at the mem. So I really wanted to do one for this year because I think it's a really cool recap and reminds me of so much stuff that we did during the year all the fun little moments so maybe i'll do that tonight we have a little tart cherry juice Put some ice in here james putting away our christmas decorations let's do some of this betty buzz lemon lime this could be so disgusting who knows or it could be really good could be fantastic I feel like cherry and lime are good flavors together. Yeah. You know? For sure. This is not the cherry juice I would normally buy. I think this has like a little bit of apple in it, which is like... Hey, this actually would have been a good game to go to. Makes it really high in sugar. I know we talked about going to this game earlier today, but... Oh my god, so much sugar. Mocktail one of dry January. I feel like it's pretty good. It needs like a little more fizz. Ooh, let's try it. I like it. Yeah, it's really good. What the heck? Right? So it's really just cherry juice and wow. lemon lime. Betty Buzz. Oh, these are actually really good. Armor flush, but I really like those. I was really surprised. I actually bought them because our sprouts did not have club soda when we were making a drink for New Year's Eve. Yeah. So. Right. We're about to vacuum up this mess, but the real reason I'm trying to get rid of all the Christmas stuff is because for Christmas, Tay and I got the book that goes with this, the American Cowboys book that we love, the West, I'm not even sure what it is or the inside but oh they're so pretty you gotta look at we just love the aesthetic of them and we're into it so but we got that one so we're gonna stack that and yeah okay got that all vacuumed out and then put our stacked our books up got a little collection going they look good i like them huge fan of the black and white and then i wish we could hide those wires and then we have 
the Vogue over there. Tay got this engagement gift, this Vogue Weddings Bridal Dresses book. Um, she had it downstairs, so I thought I'd stack those over and see what that looks like. I think it looks good, but we also got our favorite candle from Vancouver Candle Co. Um, it's the West Coast scent for spruce oak moss. And we love it. Feels good to get the Christmas dec decorations out there. I feel like we're a little overdue. Right after New Year's, I'm the type of person that we're ripping those lights off. We're taking all the, taking all the decorations down. Christmas is over right after New Year's, so. Got that done, but he's downstairs hanging out. I'm about to go down there here in a minute after the, I watch the end of this Texas game. And we're gonna watch, uh, we started a new series called, oh my God, what was it called? Tulsa King. It has uh, Sylvester Stallone in it. And we watched the first episode last night and we were in it, we were kind of on the hunt for a new TV show. So we started that one, we loved the first episode. So we're gonna start that episode, the second episode tonight here in a minute. So we'll probably catch up with you guys in the morning. Uh, kind of a boring day. Hopefully we have some more stuff planned tomorrow and we'll take you guys along. But that's that, see y'all in the morning. Happy Sunday, I'm waiting, for, whoa, I'm waiting for Dame to get up so we can go on a walk. I just got dressed. I put on this really cute new, you can't see my legs. I put on this cute new set by Half Days. It's a ski wear brand. So I guess these are technically base layers, but I got the leggings and the long sleeve top and it feels so, so good. I'll show you guys in the natural light when we're outside because it's navy, so it's kind of hard to see in here, but I love them, they're so comfy. I came upstairs to take my supplements and I realized I'm out of all of my supplements. Um, I don't know how I didn't realize that. I don't have vitamin C, I don't have Armra. Those are the two that I really wanted to take today. So anyways, I'm out of those. I need to do a restock. So I won't be taking my supplements right now, but I am gonna make a little egg because I have been actually kind of good at eating before I have coffee in the morning. So, it's not much but at least just having like a little fried egg or hard boiled egg or something before I have caffeine or coffee. Um, I actually haven't been doing too bad at that. So I'm gonna fry up a little egg right now, roll my face out. I got this as a Christmas gift. We love her and she stays so cold. taking down the Christmas decor last night, which looks so beautiful and clean. I think he forgot these parts. <laughs> I was just sitting having my egg and I'm staring across and I saw the little gnome sit in there and I'm like, wait a minute. <clears throat> last night when Dame was doing the Christmas decorations, I went downstairs and did a little reflecting. Actually felt really good after, but First I started with a list of my accomplishments in 2023. I had to go back through my photos and kind of like remember some of the things. Then I wrote down all of our travel spots because that's always a fun thing for me just to reflect on all the places we traveled or visited or revisited. So that was cool to see. I did another page of what I could have done better in 2023. So just some reflecting on like things that I wasn't that proud of or things that I wanted to do that I didn't really get to do. Um, I could not find my goals from last year. Normally I have like sheets of all my goals for the year and I could not find them. So I don't know if I never got around to it or if I put them somewhere else. I have no idea. So it was a little harder to do the reflecting and like what I could have done better. But And then I started a like ins and outs or like a more or less list. And so that was kind of fun. I just like started rambling off things of like more reading, more walking, more golf, less stress, less caffeine. That was fun just to get my brain moving. And thinking about some of the goals that I wanna set for 2024. For my 2024 goals, I broke everything down into categories. So let's see. Okay, work goals, wellness goals, 
family and relationship goals, fun, adventure, and travel goals, creative goals, financial goals, and material goals. Financial and material are a little different. Material is just like fun things that I want um, or want to buy for myself. And then financial is more like budgeting and saving and debt and things like that. So I broke it all down into those categories and then I started writing out like really specific goals within those. I think my longest one was wellness because I think like that's the most fun for me and I have the most things I want to do in that category. Creative was also a really fun one. Um, it's weird, I normally have way more travel goals and adventure goals, but since this is the year of our wedding, wedding season has begun. Because we're getting married, I have less travel goals. Like that is like my big, that will be my big like destination adventure for the year, I guess. That's when I kind of broke it all down, but anyways, I did it by hand because I feel like I can really get into the nitty gritty and like in my brain and in my thoughts when I'm writing. So I wrote it all down in my notebook, but right now I'm going to open up my notes app on my laptop, the one that's like on my phone too, you know? And I'm going to put everything into a note so that I can access it um, throughout the year. It sounds like Dave's like getting up. Then we'll go ahead on a little walk and get a coffee. We're trying a new spot. Today it's in the neighborhood, it's in Mueller, and it's a coffee and ice cream shop. It looks cute. It's right by the Sunday market that we always go to, so. <laughs> I just remember you putting the bag away, and I was like, it's weird he fit everything in that bag, because we had like more new stuff. Nope, just the entertainment stand. Finally got out of the house. What? what? Walking to Bottega is the place that it's called. In Mueller. In Mueller. It's actually pretty nice today and I'm getting kind of hot. The fun. weather feels so good. And I love this set, but you guys, these pants like really snatch you in. They are very tight. You saw those half days? Yeah, it's a half day ski rubber I just told them. Nice. In the navy, but I got a medium top, small bottom. And the small fits really, really good in the bottom. It's just really tight in my waist. And I don't know, I feel like maybe for skiing I would want that. I don't know, I could go small or medium. Same with the top, small or medium. So I would say they run pretty fitted. So if you're in between, maybe go up. Nice. But this like winter weather is everything to me. Yeah, it What is it, like 50 degrees? I'd say so. I don't know. I'm starting to get a little better. I feel like it's starting to break up a little. My finger is still down for the count. Got an iced coconut milk latte. I think we split an extra shot between ours, right? Yeah, we got the same thing if I added vanilla. Yep. About to walk back. Okay. I love my coffee and I love that place. It's very like Italian vibes. They have a um... is it gelato or ice cream? Uh, Not that I know the difference, but gelato. gelato? Maybe. They have gelato. They have um, avocados. Do they have wine there, right? Huh? Do they have wine there? Yeah, wine too, babe. So cute. It's right in Mueller. It's called Bottega. They have blotches and pastries. They have coconut milk, which you guys know, Austin. City of Austin does not believe in coconut milk, but I'm gonna add some of this Pono coconut syrup. I think I might have showed this already, but um, it's made in Hawaii, and I randomly found it at La Bodega in Anchorage when we were there, and I put it in Dame's stocking, but it tastes, I can't even, oh my God, the smell. Yeah, so it was good. It's so good. Just saw this coconut syrup was at a coffee shop in Waikiki. Actually, I think it's closed now. But we tried it and it was so good. They also had like a macadamia syrup. Oh my god. But the brand is Pono. 
and yeah you guys should look it up i'll try to link it below see what i can find it online i'm not starving yet i'll probably finish my coffee i'm gonna do a little content editing on my phone just while i sit on the couch and hang out and i think we're gonna go hit golf balls here in a few hours oh they made us some avo toast the fried egg i've really been into squeezing a lemon on top i used to do this on all of my toast I don't know why I stopped. I think I just stopped buying lemons. Dame is not feeling very well. So I'm gonna make him a medicine ball tea that he can bring while I go hit a bucket ball since his hand is done for. He can't hit anything, so he'll just be cheering me on. But I'm out of lemonade, so I think I'm just gonna do some apple cider that we had and then maybe a little lemon juice i don't know but i just do one cup of water and then we'll do some of this with a little splash of lemon and i'm just going to heat that up on the stove we do that and then we do two of the Tivana tea bags, one mint and one peach. And then maybe I'll do a little agave for some extra sweet. Two. Mm, they smell so good. Ready to go, just like equal parts, water, usually lemonade, two tea bags, and a little honey. If you're feeling it. Yeah, at the driving range for a little bit and then we are probably gonna go up to the domain because I wanna go try on those golf shoes, so. That's the game plan. We're gonna head out before the sun sets. I think it's like four o'clock right now, so. Let's do it. It's been your, a while, huh? Your bag kind of matches your outfit. Does it? Does yeah. It? Yeah, yeah. Got my medicine ball tea and my bum finger. A little spot. She's been hitting them good so far. Last couple balls. End on some good ones. That one was straight. Whoa, peep. She didn't like that one. You started off great too. My first shot was like the best. I hit all of them good too. Yeah, you did really well. Yeah, I don't know what that was about, but. We'll take it. We're about to head down to the domain, so take try on some golf yeah. shoes. We gotta get down there before six. Yeah, tight sketch. Sketch, but that was fun. It was. So we got those errands done really quickly. Now it's six o'clock. We just pulled up to Sprouts, and we're gonna go get some avocados since we're out. And we have such good sourdough that I can't not be making avocado toast every day. Yeah, it's like day. literally something we eat every day, so we yeah. need avocado. So we're gonna get that, and then maybe some stuff for tacos tomorrow. And we'll figure out the rest of the week later. Cool. Then for avocados came out with a fifty dollar haul. <laughs> We're gonna make some kale, Caesar, and fries. French fries. French fries. So I cut up our potato. We only have one potato left, so it's not that many. Well, not as many as I would like, but yeah, it's enough. Though. It is what it is. So I'm gonna drizzle in our olive oil. What should we put on while we're cooking? Um, Tulsa King, we were watching Tulsa King. I saw that we were watching it, yeah. And then uh, today I started Good Grief, which is with Dan Levy. That is pretty good so far. We'll see. But olive oil, garlic powder, lots of it. And then salt and pepper. Last time I put this ranch seasoning on from Trader Joe's. And they were good. They were good last time, weren't they? So good. Okay, I made sure to oil the pan well so these don't stick to the bottom. Hopefully, last time we had a lot of sticky ones. So I preheated the oven to 400. So I'm gonna throw these in. I'm gonna set the timer for like 15 maybe and then just check on them. I'm gonna make some croutons for the salad. I've been using our sourdough because Sourdough croutons are just delicious. So let's use the butt end of it. 
chop the sourdough into little squares and then basically toss them in kind of the same that I tossed the potatoes in. Just olive oil, salt, pepper. I'll do a little parm on here. Definitely some garlic powder or like fresh garlic. Okay, while Tay is waiting on the fries and her croutons, I'm gonna make our dressing for the kale. Um, Tay kind of been doing this one for a while, but she kind of taught me how to do it. So all we do is olive oil, lemon juice. We just started adding some mayonnaise to it, which I like because it makes it a little like creamier. And then some garlic, minced garlic. Got, um, Dijon. Oh geez, yeah. And then some Dijon as well. But that's it, salt and pepper. Yeah, you want good. agave in there? A little sweetener? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, you gotta add parm. Yeah. Did you do it? I do it in the dressing a little bit and then a lot of it shredded on top. Okay, fries are done. I kind of forgot about them. We started watching Hunter and Julia's vlog, but they kind of look perfectly crispy and they didn't stick this time. So I really just did a ton of oil on the bottom and then even like rubbed it around with a paper towel. So. Yum! Yeah, they didn't stick at all. Well, maybe that one did. Mm. Mm -hmm. We just bought these new sauces from Sprouts. Oh, I got a finger. Put them up, Ranch. Pretty good. And then Primal Kitchen, they always make good stuff. We got the buffalo sauce, so. They don't use seed oils. They use avocado oil. Even though I'm sure our ranch has sunflower oil in it. Oh, yum! Do you want the same amount? <laughs> Maybe a little less. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Heavenly. Another fun like New Year's Eve planning thing we did. Dave and I started like a shared note folder on our iPhones. And we keep everything in there. Like we keep our grocery list in there. We keep our like house to-do list or like travel to-do list in there. And then we just added a 2024 calendar basically that kind of lays out big events or travel things or birthdays or I don't know like anything that's coming up so that we have like a pretty good overview of the year and I feel like that was really helpful. It has been so far. Right? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I'm feeling good. The only thing I really haven't done to like reset for the new year or prep for the new year is my budget i use um it's called break your budget is this girl i follow on instagram but she has a whole like spreadsheet basically that keeps track of all your finances um and just like your overall budget for the year the month the week all of that so i really like it and i actually used it the entire year last year like from january all the way to december 31st so i was really proud of that so i think we're it again she just did a little refresh of the template. I'll link it down below if anybody's looking for like something like that to try, but. She's good. She is good. I've shown Damon before. It's actually so much good information in there. And it's nice to like really see where your money's going. It's very interesting. But I'm gonna do that again this year. So I probably won't do it tonight just cause it's kind of a process. Other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. Got all my stuff. I got all my goals written down in my notes. So we can reference those. I'm gonna try to like revisit those monthly rather than at the end of the year. We're gonna try and collectively Do it together. meet once a month towards the end of the month yeah. and like go over the status of each of our goals so we can keep each other on track. Keep each other accountable. Yeah, I like it. So I'm feeling really good. I feel like I, there was too much pressure to do it right after New Year's. I was like just recovering from the holidays and coming down, but now that we're back and like did a full work week, which was so hard, by the way. That was tough. That was so hard. Like, it was like almost like physically probably knows. painful for everybody me. Everybody probably knows like the first week back. I know it really actually made me feel better because I'm like, everyone's in this with me. Like everyone else gets it. It was tough. That was hard. But now that it's over, I like actually ended Friday on a really good note. So I'm sure tomorrow will be fine. But get some good sleep tonight. I haven't given my aura ring review, but I love it so far. If you use natural cycles or have been thinking about using natural cycles, 
absolutely i love it so far i don't even notice it um it's really easy to charge it charges in like an hour so if i'm sitting at my desk for an hour i literally will just put it on there and let it charge but i feel like it has really helped keep me on a good sleeping pattern it's like i don't want to get a bad score on my aura ring so i'm like i have to go to bed i can't be scrolling forever i can't like lay around in bed in the morning like i am determined to get a good good sleep score it also does activity so it will be like you've been sitting for a long ass time get up and move i like that so far so this has actually been really helpful as far as like getting wellness kick started again so is the hatch don't you love the hatch love the hatch Laura. oh my god two wellness things that i kind of thought were like a little like i didn't know yeah. i would recommend anyone well i don't know much about them. the aura ring but the hatch alarm is definitely worth it I the aura because i fall asleep faster quicker mm -hmm. i wake up more peaceful the but, red uh, light at night is like everything we actually used to have it in our duplex not the hatch we used to have red lights um in the duplex when we lived in anchorage and those were so nice yeah, probably, especially in the bathroom it's nice because if you do them in the bathroom and then on your nightstand you have red light like you can turn off all the overhead lights and only have red light and really like wind you down seriously but i don't have red lights in my bathroom yet i really need to work on that maybe get like a little lamp or something yeah but anyways just random wellness 2024 planning things but our croutons are ready look how good those look fresh sourdough croutons how ugly is this pan? I was literally just saying that. Okay, here's our dinner. Kale Caesar, fresh croutons, homemade french fries, buffalo and ranch. Okay, this is our little hatch. You tap it, it shows the time. You can't see it on camera, but it's 11 o'clock, it's very late. But this is the app that we have. I have the 9.30 like wind down reminder come on and it starts turns the red light on and starts playing really chill music obviously you can pick the music and then if i hit a little button it'll start my unwind routine and i have california coast going first which is like a little red light still with california coastal sounds for 15 minutes and then it turns to like no light on and it does tranquil ocean sounds for 25 minutes. And the volume, you can select the volume for everything. You can change the light, obviously the sounds. There's some really fun ones for waking up that I need to mess around with more. You can wake up to like meditations. You can wake up to EDM. You can wake up to literally whatever you want. They have so many options, but right now we have sunrise jazz piano going. So anyways, we love it so far. And the red light is so nice in the evening. But I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching. Hope everyone had a great weekend, and we will see you guys in the next one.